Hello, my name is Lizzie Mame. Um, I've been asked by someone how to um, erase in Illustrator and Inkscape. Uh, first of all, I'll show you how to do it in uh, Illustrator. There are a couple of ways of doing it. Uh, you can erase by selecting the star and the square and going to the Pathfinder tool. Now, the Pathfinder tool isn't visible. We just go to Window and navigate to Pathfinder. Now these shape modes at the top here are different ways of separating, dividing and erasing your object. The first one is to unify the two shapes. If I click on that, two shapes become one. I'll just Control Z that to go back to the beginning. If I want to um, erase um, one part from another Say if I wanted to take the star part out from the square, I have to make sure that the star is on the top level and the square is on the bottom level. And then I press the subtract or minus from. And there you see is the star has now been taken away from the square. Control Z that again. If I want it the other way round, I can then send the star to the back, either by right... Um, right clicking arrange send to the back and if I click on both of them now and do minus the square is taken from the star, the, the star if I want a portion of that erase say I wanted this part here taken out of the middle of the square then I would go to either um, let's see exclude and that takes out the middle but that what that leaves you is you've got one solid part. What I like to do sometimes is I go to divide and then that what that will do is will group your layers together then you can just um, select which one you want to delete. There you go. You're still left if you ungroup them, control shift G you're still left then with two separate shapes. The other option is the Erase tool. Now on the left hand panel here you have the Erase tool. If you double click on that a dialog box will come up. You can set the size of the eraser, its roundness, you can set it flat and its angle. I'm just going to keep it round on the size, that's about it, OK. And then the part you want to erase, say if you want to just make a, um erase right through the middle of these shapes, you just hold your key down on your mouse and just shift through. Perhaps I need to That's better. You need to select both of them first and then you can go through with the eraser. Now in Inkscape, again, if you select the first two items and you go to Path at the top, you have uh, the, same, the same as Pathfinder and Illustrator, but they're called slightly different here. You have Union, where it will unite both shapes. Again, it's annoying. I, there's some things in Inkscape I like and some things I don't, and it doesn't tend to keep the selection once you've done something. Um, go to Path again, and you can have Difference. It's taken the star from the square. Now, the same with these two on the other side, there is an eraser tool. Now, what I like about this eraser tool is that immediately you've got this kept here. You don't have to have a dialog box that keeps coming up every time you want to change it. You can change it from here. Don't select the first one. I'll show you what happens if you click on it, the whole lot will disappear. There. You want 
the second choice along. If you put your mouse over it, it might tell you what it says. Cut out from objects. The first one says delete objects touched by the eraser. So do make sure that the second one is chosen. And again, you just draw through the two objects. And if you want tiny bits to be raised, you can just go in and erase little bits of it. There you go. I hope that's answered some of your queries. Thank you for watching and uh, see you soon. Goodbye.